Today, we are going to be naming the ionic compound NH4NO3. Now, here's a little trick, guys. If you see that you have three or more different elements in your compound, you know that you're dealing with at least one polyatomic ion. Now, in this case, we have three different elements. We have N for nitrogen, H for hydrogen, and O for oxygen. So it's always easiest to find out your polyatomic ions and then work from there. Now, the hardest part is that polyatomic ions are never on the periodic table. They have to be memorized. But that's why I wrote down the polyatomics that we're going to be seeing here, okay? So you just need to use flashcards or keep writing these out, but you need to memorize these because they're gonna be with you for the rest of the chemistry course, okay? So in this case, I have NH4. NH4 is always a plus one charge. It loses one electron, and that one's always called ammonium. And by memorization, I could say, oh, Look at that, I have NH4 right here. Here's NH4, okay, that's a polyatomic. But then I look at this, right, this NO3, and I say, oh, that's also a polyatomic, right? NO3 minus one is always called nitrate. So in this case, I have two polyatomic ions, okay? And that all comes from memorizing if your teacher or professor doesn't give you a list of polyatomics. Now, this is an ionic compound because the polyatomic ions, they have charges. And that's what ionic compounds are. It doesn't have to necessarily be a metal and a non-metal. All of these are non-metals. But since I have two polyatomics that have charges and they, you know, give electrons and one accepts it, that's an ionic compound. Now we just have to name this. But the good thing is that all polyatomic ions, their names always stay exactly the same. You don't have to change them, but you just got to memorize them. So NH4 is always called ammonium. So I'm going to write ammonium first. And then the NO3 comes next. NO3 is nitrate, name doesn't change. So you're done. Look at that, guys. So NH4, NO3 is just ammonium nitrate. There you go. Thank you so much for viewing the video. I really hope this helped. Let me know in the comments, all right? Like and subscribe if you want to, and I will see you in future lessons. Bye-bye.